today I will be going from start to finish my routine on back day. Hopefully my back is feeling all right. My left lat actually felt a little bit weird the other day, so if I feel out of commission, I won't be doing anything crazy, but first off, the pre-workout that I take, and this is gonna get a little bit controversial, a little bit controversial, because there is a banned substance in this pre-workout. First off, add the water. Obviously. At the moment, I just use whatever is at the gym, but honestly, um, for the longest time, I just used like three to four teaspoons of just black coffee and had that. But we have Disorder. I'm not sponsored by Disorder. It's just the strongest pre-workout I can find that's local that you know I'm consistent with. And I've ordered it online before. Disorder. I'm not asking for a sponsorship. I don't. I don't want it. But just to kind of go through the ingredients, I'll give you guys a quick look. And a bit more here. The key things that I'm looking at for in this would be the beta alanine, the caffeine, which is 250 mg per serve uh, for the um, anhydrous caffeine. And the beta alanine has a serving of 1600 milligrams, which is like, you know, adequately dosed. Um, at the moment, I actually don't feel the standard tingles anymore. I feel like I'm a little bit desensitized to it. I uh, probably need to wean off the pre-workout for a while. But in terms of things that I look for um, in a pre-workout, I just go straight up for the fucking caffeine, honestly, like hand on heart, like the stimulant is what I'm after, not all the rest. Obviously, stuff like beta alanine does assist with like muscular endurance and whatnot. Um, just depends on the workout, right? If it's like a straight up powerlifting workout, I really don't give two craps, but I digress. Let's get to the scoopage, right? So this is one. What am I going to go for? Can you guys guess? how many scoops I usually do. I usually do one and a half, but I'll do a little bit more today because I'm a bit tired. Actually, I was on the golf course all day, filming, taking photos and whatnot. Show you guys some trades that I'm in right after this. I actually closed my Bitcoin long from the other day, but I just pulled up the screen. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Let's get back on point. The secret sauce at the moment. Oh, this is going to be controversial, isn't it? DMAA, 1,3-dimethylethylamine, which is, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, the one of the key ingredients in Jack 3D. There's another one called DMHA, and I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, in DMAA, I do believe you get a tolerance built up from it. This is the scoop they provide. It's like a little tiny scoop. Two, three, four, and last one. Five. And maybe one more. Six. So around like, you know, six, six scoops would be 60. MGs of DMMA, DMAA, there's 10 mg per scoop, uh, milligrams per scoop. If you're just starting out, I would only do like the 30, 40. Um, mid end would be, you know, 50, 60. High end would be like above that, which I don't really go for because I don't need to be awake or not. So, I'm gonna sip on this. I usually have loud blaring music in the background. Pre-workout ritual, but not today, not today. And what's on the agenda today? I actually did like 260 kilos for a few reps the other day. After not like, you know, I've been doing more bodybuilding stuff, trying to stay heavy. I'm around like 88 kilos right now. I'm like fluctuating now at a higher body weight, which is good. The plan is to stay sort of heavy 
so I can lift a little bit heavier, right? Focusing on the, I guess the gains over absolute weight. Obviously my squats have been going up and the squats is, you know, cruising. And what I've actually noticed, like just to go back to the squats, is that I'm doing squats for like 220 kilos, no issue for four, five reps, whatever, like, oh, it's an off day, I do that. And that's a really good result. Like, prior, like, when I started squatting again, I was doing, like, 160, 180, and I was sort of, like, feeling iffy about lifting the weight. So, winding back, looking back at where I was when I was, I was starting my squat journey again after coming back from, like, overseas, has been, you know, really good. To be honest, like this is really good progress and making progress at this stage of lifting is something that's awesome. Like I, I really like the fact that I can still make progress and albeit a little bit slower, it's still really satisfying to go in the gym and knowing that, you know, the next session is going to be better than the last one. Um, let me just down this real quick. Doesn't taste too bad. I really don't care about the taste generally. Without the DMAA, I'll just literally dry scoop instead. Um, all right, let's show some trades. I think, um, in the last video, I don't know if I was showing people in the last video. At the moment, I have some towel. It's okay, the ATO can see this because I pay my taxes. Towel's up around 20, almost 30,000. Um, Solana up around, uh, around 8,000. Bitcoin, I've reopened the long actually on Bitcoin. Let me... Actually had my first long 200,030 in size, 230,000K in size. Closed around here before the breakdown and re-entered around the same level that I've exited with half the size at 100K well, less. The P&L and the Bitcoin trade was, where is it? Close orders, close positions, close positions. 16k um, negative these differences so around like 1.5k off the oh sorry 17k so around 15k profit on the last trade with all these other trades still running and what's my kind of perspective here on the crypto markets and should you get in right now honestly if you're a betting man i think the next handful of months are going to be quite positive for the markets, um, but we're sort of in the last phase of the cycle, right? Last phase meaning Bitcoin does like a parabolic move into all time highs and that's it. Like obviously there's gonna be an altcoin, well maybe, altcoin rally where the rotations from the Bitcoin market go into the altcoin market, but that's not a guarantee. And obviously now the distribution between alts in terms of liquidity is just so vast because the mid range of altcoins is, you know, there are so many, so many different projects out there, right? And as we see the market as it is today, people are going to projects that aren't sort of, you know, BC backed or vested. They're going for the complete fucking meme coins. Right, because they're fully unlocked generally. They've, um, the community's been distributed to, like it's fair distribution usually, depending, well, if a project has fair distribution, that's a good signal. Um, the emissions, you know, non-existent or very, very low, or well, meme coins, non-existent. Tokenomics are generally okay. You just need to obviously look out for the rugs and from my perspective, I don't play meme coins because I have no edge. Meaning, I don't have, I don't have a fucking day and night to go scouring through Discord, scouring through 
Twitter and stuff looking for the next shitcoin to be pumping, right? The reason being is that I can't use my technical advantage on the market effectively, right? What I can do is use my technical analysis on um, centralized exchanges because my indicator and my method of actually measuring the market in terms of order flow, et cetera, et cetera, exists on centralized exchanges and assets that are well documented, right? Meme coins are sort of in the kind of earliest stages in their kind of lifetime, unless they get really big or sort of pick up like whiff, like your Flokies, like your Dogecoins, etc. Those can be traded, but it's not the same as going into like the really low cap, low tier memes and doing like 150Xs or 500Xs, depending on whatever you, you pick up. Popcat, well, Popcats, Popcats on exchanges can trade that, but that is sort of the cryptocurrency market as it stands. Now, not only memes, obviously another sector that I'm really focused on at the moment in terms of my spot holdings is uh, BitTensor. So BitTensor is a distributed compute network that allows people to kind of attach their projects and create subnets. So all these nodes of computers can power that subnet and um, people can, you know, imagine OpenAI is attached to BitTensor bit 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 and you're prompting OpenAI uh, to give you, or your chat GPT to give you, you know, feedback on one plus one equals two or whatever, right? The BitTensor network, all those computers will help solve those problems and the fastest or the best answer that comes back gets rewarded to that the, the bit tensor rewards that kind of participant for allowing you or for allowing their compute power to work efficiently so there's obviously incentive to become an efficient validator if you know what i mean so that is my perspective and my kind of thesis on the market AI memes the strongest. Obviously, you've got your real world assets and you've got your layer twos, which are sort of like more on the back burner in terms of price action and attention on the market. But if I was a betting man, which I am, I would be in either memes, AI, or both, and Solana ecosystem. Right? Solana is doing pretty well. I think the, the chart looks good. But yeah, that is just a topic for another day. I'm just like geeing up for this workout. And yeah, let's head into the gym. It's a lot of work. See how the lap feels on the first few reps and move on. <clears throat> this is the working set today. Probably try for eight. Oh, that was easy. 
Uh, we're going to do three sets of ten. That's what I've decided. Volume first. And I'll build my weight back up in terms of body weight. Good volume. Let's fucking go. Ten. Got one more. Dig deep in the last set. Last set's always the hardest. <clears throat> oh, Kev. Wake up. Oh, Fucking locking. Come on, pussy. Fuck. That was enough. Not ten. What am I listening to? Lornish, Lornish, or Pain Remains One, Dancing Like Flames. Almost out in ya. Here's your work. You make light work of it because you're fucking strong. And you got another five in ya. At least. Another five, pussy. It's the last set. It's the last set. Yeah, we're not sure. This is the last burst. No, I'm going to sign, mate. It's only you. You take it. Yeah. Enough. I'm pushing it. Head's fucked. I see you're coming out with a brand now, gym brand. I am rebranding Barbell Crew. So you on it. Thank you, sir. It will be good, I promise. Right, crazy drop on that at first brand, too. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Alright, boys and girls, 1%, 0.1% female viewership. I don't know if I push myself that hard on a set in like six months, not gonna lie, even heavy included. Like, fuck man, that was like ten, 11, 10, 5, 4. With like 235 including chains. Two of the first set, uh, three sets, sorry. And five, four reps. On the last set of 220, like I, that was like a failure set. Like my hamstrings are just fucked up right now. Like they feel like they're taut, like like this. But like on the brink of like breaking. You know when your reps are like frayed to the last few threads and so it's a fuck snap off. That's what it feels like, but not quite. Um, I put my head out, it's fucking heavy. But I think that's going to be part of the key to pulling a little bit more because whenever I pull in those heavy weights, sometimes I can feel my lat and just like parts of my physical integrity just like disintegrating. So something tells me I need to fortify my musculature and not in the sense that like building size, but I'm building more um, 
I guess a bit more so, a bit more cross-sectional area in places that I'd happen to not be as fortified, I guess. But yeah, um, in terms of next actions, probably, fuck, I don't know if I have left in here. Fuck. Um, throw some pull ups. Pull ups. Yeah, I'll go pull ups. And then. I don't even know if I have any fucking rows in me. But, honestly, it's good. It reminds me of um, previous uh, earlier workouts I used to do. Which was fucking blasting it. And I think that's how I got strong to begin with training to the edge of potential injury but not injuring myself so pull ups, biceps maybe some bag work core a day be strong, be notorious, be rascal